Hello everybody, welcome back to the live stream. How's it going? Welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. How you doing? How you been? How's life? Let me move that down. Are we good? I think we're good. How's it going everybody? Welcome to the live stream. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that big old thumbs up button. Let's get to 100 likes. Can we hit 100 likes? I think we can. Uh, today, oh, first of all, I do want to mention, if you haven't watched my latest video I uploaded this morning, it's uh, the studio tour. So a tour of this entire room. So if you've ever been curious to see what the filming space looks like, I'd highly recommend for you to watch my last video. Hello everybody, AJ, hello, Firecracker, hello, Kira, hello, uh, Casey J. Brown, hello, how's it going? Welcome back, Paige, hello, Mr. The Bestest. Uh, yeah, Mr. Bestest got my uke, I'm very excited. I saw the uh, Instagram story, I'm very excited. Aaron, hello, Nicole, how's it going? So today, but yeah, Make sure to go watch that video. Com leave a comment on that video if you haven't already. Uh, let's let's bump up the algorithm on that video. I really like that video. And it's also a collab with Bernadette Teaches Music, Abby Lyons, and Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pro. So I highly recommend you go watch that video. I would absolutely love it if you would support that video. Uh, yeah, let's, 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 let's start this live stream, shall we? Um, let me do this really quickly. I want to add the chat onto my screen. So what I know we spoke about last live stream is we wanted to do sort of a, a live Youp tutorial. So I thought, why don't we test it out today? Uh, let me move over here. Uh, so I was like, why don't we test it out today? Let's do a live demo of a Youp tutorial. Chance, how's it going? Charlotte, hello. Claw Panda, hello. Nicole, hello. Q80 Cam, how's it going? Carla, Bashful, hello. Uh, Dom Girl, hee hee, hello. How's it going? Love that name. Uh, Kiara, hello. Nova's Life, love you too. Welcome to the live stream. Molly, hello. Diana, hello. Uh, so. For the first little section of this uh, live stream, I feel like maybe every Friday we could do like a learn a song together. Uh, so let me know what song you wanna do for next Friday. But for this, uh, for the first ever live uh, youth tutorial, I thought uh, that we could learn just an easy three chord song. So if you have your uke with you, pick up your uke. I have my signature uke, which is the Leolani uh, signature ukulele from me. I designed it. If you don't know, I do have a signature uke. I have a link in the description below where you can also save money on that. Uh, but yeah, make sure to like this video. Uh, so we're gonna just go ahead and start the tutorial, the live tutorial. And again, make sure to comment uh, after this live stream goes live what video you want to learn next. So uh, yeah. All right, so let me, uh, I'm gonna change some things around uh, on the monitor, so that way we can add the chord. So I have a visual um, chord chart and all that stuff, the graphs and all that good stuff. So let me, let me just move things around, please. Um, all right, so I'm gonna have to uh, remove the comment section just for a little bit on screen. Uh, you guys will obviously be able to comment still on in the, in the chat. Um, but I'm gonna move this out of the way. And then I'm going to move. I'm gonna add that. So we'll move this over here. Always important so you guys know where we can see that. And boom. All right, so. Let me know if you like uh, this setup. So basically, what we're, what I want to do is, uh, I want to really, you know, just work on songs that you guys want to learn. So we can do a live demo. Uh, Dre, how's it going? 
happy birthday page. My birthday is on Tuesday, not a live stream day though. Yeah, well, we can sing happy birthday uh, today or we can do it on Wednesday as well, like a belated birthday, but happy early birthday to you, Paige. Do you know this song, Why Do You Only Call Me When You're High? I think so, I'm not sure. Sophia, hello, how's it going? Bob is cool. What's up, my potato family? Bob's cool, how, how are you? How's it going? What song are we gonna learn? So right here, I have the chords, the chord progression, and the strumming, which is a down, down, up, up, down, up, which is sort of the standard island strum. So if you can figure out what song we're gonna learn today, just by these chords, let me know in the chat. Let me know. Uh, I rem remember about the rare uke, my sis popped mine on accident, so now I have to order another one. Oh no. Yeah, the rare uke I have. Ooh, let me see if I can get it. The rare uke is right here, look at that. This is the rare uke. Super awesome. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my latest video. Um, <clears throat> the core chart looks great, thank you so much. Yeah, so this is the uh, chords we're gonna be using, A minor, G, and C. The chord progression is gonna be, which I do right here. The chord progression is gonna be A minor, G, C, C, and the strumming is going to be A, down, down, up, up, down, up. And Liz, you are absolutely correct. Can we give some uh, potato love to Liz in the chat? It is Riptide. Uh, Emily, also you are correct. We're gonna learn Riptide today. So grab your ukes, make sure it's in tune. I should have done this before the live stream, but it is what it is. Now that everybody make sure you have your ukes and if you don't have your uke these uh, live streams will be saved on my youtube channel so you can always come back and watch the entire thing uh, i may have to go to soon but do some english class but at least i like for english nyla welcome back to the live stream so let's go ahead and so if you have your uke if you just started playing or if you don't know any of the chords we will go step by step on how to do all of these chords and then we'll move on to uh the chord progression and then the strumming now every time i hear this song i think of your video with ukes all around <laughs> can we do an easy way yeah we can also just do a down strum so if you can't do the strumming pattern just yet right here you can just do a i was scared the dentist and the dark so you can just do a down strum if you don't want to just do down strum A minor, down strum G, down strum C, and then C again. All right, so let's talk about the chord. So the first chord that we're gonna learn is the A minor chord. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your, I like to play it with my middle finger, um, just because if you are gonna be playing an F, which we are not in this, you can always easy transition into the F. So take your middle finger, place it on the fourth string, which is the top string. So this string, fourth string, second fret. And as you can see, you have it right here. And it should sound like this. The next chord that we're gonna learn is the G chord. And this one is going to be, uh, honestly, it's also one of my favorites. But again, I know some people have a little uh, issues with the G chord. So if you have issues, let me know in the chat. This is the time to ask questions, especially when we're going through the chords. So how you're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your pointer finger, you're gonna place it on the third string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the first string, which is the bottom string first string, second fret, and then you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the uh, second string, third fret. So it should sound like this. So again, if you have any questions on uh, finger placement, and also make sure you have enough space 
what I like to do, I'm trying to do this live, but just have your, your, basically I have my hand like this, Ugh, like that, right? You kind of want to do like a half heart shape, right? So if you're going to connect the other ones, just kind of add a little bit of an arch in your hand. Um, so then the C chord, which is also a super easy one, I play with my ring finger. So this one right here, I place my ring finger on the first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. So again, it's just gonna be A minor, G, and then C. So let's see if we have any questions. Bashful Uke is ready. Yeah, and you start singing Riptide. <laughs> Toast, hello, how's it going? I went to the I went to the bath. What are we playing? Kiara, we're playing Riptide. We're gonna be doing this every Friday. We're gonna learn a song, maybe the first 30, 40 minutes of just kind of going through it. If you have any questions, um, this is the time to ask them, especially for the song. Um, all right, love the song. Yes, it's an awesome one. Uh, Riptide, absolutely. Picturing all of us holding Calypso's signature uke on fleek. Yes, this is the signature uke. I know Dre has it. Mr. The Bestest also has the signature uke in the live stream as well. Uh, is there a finger picking pattern for this? Does anyone know? Uh, yeah, you can do, I mean, you can do a different types of finger, pe picking, finger picking patterns. You can do a four, two, three, one. Finger picking pattern is four, two, three, one, and then you just keep on going. And you do that finger picking pattern twice for every chord. All right, so now let's go ahead and talk about. So we just went through the chords. Let's go ahead and talk about the chord progression. Uh, so again, the chord progression is going to be A minor, G, and then C. And then the strumming pattern, we're just going to do an a, easy uh, island strum for this one, which is going to be uh, down, down, up, up, down, up. So you're going to do that strumming pattern once for every chord. So it's going to go A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, up, and then C, down, down, up, up, down, up, C one more time, down, down, up, up, down. So again, if we just add everything together, all together with the strumming pattern and the chord progression, it's just going to sound like this. So let's do that one more time. Start off with the A minor chord in three, two, one. Again, let me know if you have any questions. We're gonna now go into the play along part. We're gonna go into sections. So if anybody has any questions, please let me know uh, before we get into uh, the play along portion. So again, it's just gonna go A minor, G, and then C, and C again. So I don't see any questions as of the moment, so that's a good sign. So let's go ahead and go into sort of the play along portion. So if you want, you can put up the lyrics uh, on screen wherever you are, on your phone, laptop, wherever. Uh, I will include a PDF. I haven't done that yet, but I will include a PDF portion um, for the entire lyrics and chords. Uh, it's on my Patreon, but I'll make it free for you guys. Uh, so you can download it for the next time. Olivia, hello. Any tips on how to change quickly from A minor to G? Uh, Casey, great question. I suggest, I would always suggest is slowing everything down and isolating things. So uh, make sure you have the A minor chord and you, you are, your fingers and your mind are like both connected on the finger placement for everything. So make sure um, you know how to change. Uh, chords without looking at your actual uke. So again, just go A minor and you can do that strumming pattern and then you can pause. Make sure your fingers are set correctly. You can take a look at it, make sure your fingers are set correctly and then go
go to the G. So again, I would just practice A minor. Pause. You can readjust, make sure your fingers are properly placed for the G, and then go strum G. And then eventually, once you do that more and more, you'll really get a hang of it. And then you'll just keep on going. So it, literally it's all about practice, but isolating. So first focusing on one chord, then the next, and then the next, and eventually try going between one A minor and G, A minor, G, A minor, G, and then going from G to C. Uh, it is pretty difficult. The only I could give you is keeping practicing changing chords. Yeah, so I mean it really just takes time. Uh, I think practice is the best way to learn. Uh, there's no real like um, quick hacks on how to transition between chords. It's just really again isolating, focusing on the A minor first. As soon as you have the finger positioning down and just play the A minor a bunch, you can eventually go to, to G and do the exact same thing. Just play it. Get really comfortable with it. Do this for five minutes. And as soon as you do that, you can go A minor, pause, go to G. And then as soon as you get that down with the pausing in between, you can uh, quicken it up. Again, the chords are A minor, G, C, chord progression, A minor, G, C, and C. Tess, Tess hello, how's it going? Toria, hello, 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 everybody. Uh, so we are going through Riptide. This is the first song that we're doing a live uke tutorial for. So if you have your uke and you just joined, make sure to grab it, play it. Uh, if you know all the chords, we are about to do the play along portion of this song. So again, a minor, G, C. And again, if anybody has any questions, please uh, add them in the chat uh, and I'll try to get them, get to them. <clears throat> okay, that's great. Yeah, we'll try to take my time and work on that. Yeah, so the biggest thing that helped me was just isolating. So if you have three chords that you know it's in a song, just practice each one individually and then slowly start transitioning and just making sure that your finger placements are correct when you're uh, adding, when you're sort of going through the strumming. Also, you can start to lift your fingers for the new chord on the last up. Yes, exactly. Uh, great, a great recommendation, Aaron. Uh, what song are we doing? This is Riptide, yes. Roberta, hello, how's it going? Uh, what about adding chucks? Uh, yeah, we can add chucks. Uh, for this one, I just wanted to sort of add a uh, regular strumming pattern, an easy one, uh, but you can add a chuck into the mix. So you're gonna kind of follow this strumming pattern, but instead of, it's gonna go down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So the second down strum, this one right here, you're gonna add a chuck and then I don't know if you can see my finger still, but for this one right here, you're gonna add a chuck as well. So it's gonna go down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. AJ, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, AJ. Can we send some love to AJ in the chat? Uh, is this Riptide? Yes, it is. unrelated but how can I play the F minor chord yeah we Nyla we can go through that uh, we just want to kind of stick with uh, these chords for right now uh, but we can add that in a future uh, live uke tutorial I can't speak today um, can you please do a tutorial for California by Ricky Montgomery I don't know that song but I'll take a listen to it my universe all right so let's go ahead and do sort of a live play along for this so again, A minor, G, C, C. All right, so we'll do again, strumming pattern, down, down, up, up, down. Up. So let's start the strumming, uh, the play along in three, two, actually we're gonna start with the A minor chord, obviously. So starting with the A minor chord in three, 
two, one. I was scared of dentists and the dark. Going for C. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. Oh, all my friends are turning green. Again, start off the A minor chord. I was scared of dentists. When you go to dentist, you're gonna start with the G chord. So A minor, I. A minor, you're gonna start with the I word. So I was scared of G and the dark. So when you get to dark, it's going to be the C chord. So again, I was scared of dentists and the dark. Go to the next line. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. Uh, so again, it's just gonna be A minor. I was scared of G, dentist and the C, dark. And you can do it slow down version if you want. You can slow it down as much as you want. You can speed it up as much as you want. But if you are just starting, I would recommend to slow it down. Um, Ricky, you have a problem. I, 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 A minor, absolutely addicted to my uke. I am addicted to my uke. Uh, I don't think that's a problem. I think that's a great issue. Lydia, hello, how's it going? Can you make a tutorial for Emerald Eyes by Anson? I uh, have no clue of that song, but I will take a listen to it. Lauren, thank you so much for your suggestion. Uh, hello from Armenia. Hello, Gohar, how's it going? What was the song I know how to play on the uke and thank, our thank you to you? Roberta, thank you so much, I appreciate that. Uh, Ricky, turn off the background music when you get to, oh, right. Thank you so much, Aaron. We got it. See, we're learning. This is why I love my mods. They keep me in check. How long have you been playing? I've been playing for almost uh, three years, two and a half, a little over two and a half years. Uh, Ricky, when you get a chance, can we touch? Uh, can we touch, babe, on different picks? I'm currently using a felt pick. Uh, can we touch on, not touch, or touch on different uh, picks? Yeah, we can do that. I don't really use picks, so I don't really know that much about it, but if somebody loves their picks and they have good recommendations, let me know in the chat as well. Autocado, hello. Some people, I just stopped by to say hello. Autocado, how's it going? Holly, hello. Ricky, you must be addicted to you to consider you read M as an A minor. <laughs> yes, I am definitely addicted. I was like, I A minor. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can put your tutorial suggestions in the comments when the post goes live. Yes, so when this li post, live stream goes live, live stream goes live in the post on my page, you can comment on this live stream um, just so that we're, we're not, you know, kind of going in the chat with uh, recommendations because a lot of them I do not know. Uh, but yeah, take a drink if you have one. And again, chord progression. A minor, G, and then C. So before we go into the full song, let me know if you have any questions that we can answer in the chat right now. So if you have struggling with the A minor, G, or C chord, or struggling with playing and um, singing, let me know. Felt is better for uke picks, I think, because most ukes do not have a scratch guard like guitars do. Great point. It's hard to type while I'm holding my uke. <laughs> exactly, right? Hydrate, kids. Absolutely, Paige. One lime shoe can you do down in Mexico by the coasters? I will check that out. I don't know that song either. <laughs> All right, so uh, we don't have any questions as of right now, so I'll just go ahead and just keep on playing. And you can play along with me again. Chord progression, A minor, G, C, C. So we'll start from the beginning. A minor in three, two, one. 
I was scared of dentists and the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. Oh, all my friends are turning. questions on the strumming pattern I didn't want to go through the entire thing uh, just in case we have any questions on that so let me know if you have questions and I will answer them uh, let me move this over here boom, boom. let's see let's see and again let me know if you have any questions in the live stream uh, regarding this song and if you have recommendations uh, we'll be going through those uh, when this video goes live. I'll be going through the comments um, for that. So let's see if we have any questions. <clears throat> uh, Zimp, we are doing Riptide right now, but maybe in the, the later in the live stream. But right now we're just dedicating our time to this song. Uh, hey everybody, Anushka, hello, how's it going? Yeah, Sam, I know when you use your thumb at first, I start to feel hot because you have to get your finger used to it. Yeah, sometimes uh, using different fingers sometimes will kind of feel like uh, a little overwhelming. Ricky, I just want to say, honestly, you're the best. You have, you, honestly, you have the best tutorials on YouTube. I appreciate you so much. Lauren, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm having so much fun. I love that my universe. Oh wait, Ricky, did you listen to the song Tiptoe Through the Tulips? Uh, I have that on my uh, laptop. I have not listened to it yet. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Does anyone remember which Bob they are? Because I forgot which one I am. Uh, if Bobby Eves is in the live stream, you could probably ask her. Hey, it's me, BB Ukes. BB Ukes, hello, how's it going? Doing good, great, Ricky. Hope you're well. I'm great. My finger dislocates more on the uke than the guitar. Wow, really? That's interesting. All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, with uh, again, lady running down to the riptide. So let's start with that section uh, and. We'll start with A minor chord. Again, it's just going to be A minor, G, C, C. So we're going to start with Lady running down to the riptide. We're going to do that portion. All right? In three, two, one. Lady running down to the riptide. Taking the way to the dark side. I don't know. 
I swear she's destined for the screen. You can just do a downstroke for that one. So it goes, I swear she's destined for the screen. Closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen. And then you go back into the strumming pattern of lady running down to the riptide. So again, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm going through, looking into the chat right now. Um, bum, bum, bum. Casey, if it doesn't uh, make rhythm, I wouldn't worry. I do that too. I have to go. Hope you guys have a good day. Roberta, thank you so much. So if you guys don't really have any questions on how to play uh, that section, we can just go through it one more time fully and then... Um, and then we can be done with this uke tutorial. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, so let's go ahead and just do the entire song. I always mess up with the lyrics. Otherwise, I can do the song just fine. One thing I do recommend is having the lyrics on, like, either on your screen or uh, printing them out and having them in front of you. And then eventually you'll start memorizing them, but I'm also really bad with learning lyrics. So. Some people, uh, it's easier for them to learn lyrics, and then some people, it's just not. All right, so let's go ahead and do the entire song. Uh, we're going to just go through it the entire way, and then we'll go ask, we'll answer some questions at the end. So again, we're going to start with A minor, A minor, G, C, C. Everything's on screen that you need. So let's start off in three, two, one. I was scared of dentists and the dark I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations Oh, all my friends are turning green You're the magician's assistant in the
Dunstrums. I swear she's destined for the screen. See, closest thing to Michelle Pfeiffer that you've ever seen. Strumming pattern again. Lady running down to the real tight. Taking away to the dark side. I want to be your left hand man. And I love you when you sing in that song. And I got a lump in my throat. Cause you're going to sing the words wrong. We're going to repeat one more time. Oh, lady, running down to the riptide. Taking away to the dark side I wanna be your left hand man And I love you when you sing in that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong So that is basically the entire song with the strumming patterns and again if you don't want to do the strumming pattern, if you don't feel comfortable enough to do the strumming pattern, uh, you can always just do a down strum. And it will just be sound just as amazing. So let's go see, let's go check in the chat, see what everybody's saying. Uh, after practice, it gets better. Yes, practice definitely makes it easier. Uh, I know it's a finger ping that two one two three one two and but I just want to know. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what you mean. Uh, chat is silent more than usual. That's a good sign. Yes, it is. Uh, smash that likes up button. Yes, hit that thumbs up button. How many thumbs up or how many likes do we have on this video so far? Everybody is trimming away. Hello, everybody. Miss P, how's it going? Uh, you have the signature uke and letting it sit while you type. <laughs> Sorry, I got confused with the numbers. It was tater tot feeding time. Yeah, how's tater tot doing, Mr. The Bestest? I think you found the male equivalent of Billie Eilish. I just can't be having a good vibe. I just can have. I can just be having a good vibe listening to them while doing something I find boring. Love that. I love Billie Eilish, so I'll take that compliment. Uh, finger pick is a really good sound as well. Yeah, if you want to do a finger pick, you can do a four, three, or four, two, three, one. So you know, I was scared of dentists and the dark. I was scared of pretty girls and starting conversations. Oh, all my friends are turning green so you can do a finger picking pattern if you want to step that up with the strumming pattern uh, but again you can do down strums or you can do a strumming pattern or if you do want to go and kind of up it up with a finger picking pattern um, very busy at the moment Miss P yes same I'm a total noob absolutely not you're here, so that doesn't make you a new. Also, welcome to the live stream. I did really good with the song. I haven't heard I haven't heard of it, I think. Kiara, that's awesome. Yeah, so these are pretty simple chords. Uh, these are definitely chords that you want to learn, even if you're not going to play the song. Uh, these chords are in a lot of songs, so if you kind of... Uh, one a chord that I would probably add into the mix, the four chords that you need to know is the F as well. Um... Hello there, I just found your channel and I love it. I didn't know you streamed, so it was a surprise seeing you on my recommended. We got on the recommended. Yes, welcome to the live stream, Hashnera. Hello, sorry if I mispronounced your name, but welcome to the live stream. How's it going? Uh, definitely going to try, try with that. The finger picking, yes, definitely a recommend to up the level of finger picking. Uh, so if anybody doesn't have any questions, we can move on. Uh, and this kind of will be that the end of the live stream for the uke live tutorial and then we could just move on and hanging out and playing some just uh, requested songs can you give us the finger picking yeah 
so it's just going to be four. So uh, even if, okay, I probably should also mention this. So the numbering of the strings. So obviously the strings are G, C, E, A. But how we like to number them as well, especially if we're going to talk about finger picking, uh, what I like to num it's in general pra best practice is to number them by four, three, two, and then one. So one is at the bottom. So that finger picking pattern is going to be four, two, three, one. So again, it would be like, I was scared of dentists and then dark. And you're gonna do that finger pick, pick, finger, whoa, finger picking pattern. That is a tongue twister. Finger picking pattern of the four, two, three, one, twice for every chord. So A minor gets four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, G, four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one, and then C. So again, it's just going to be four, two, three, one. Uh, and that, can you make a lesson for complete beginners? Yeah. So on my uh, regular YouTube videos that I post every day, pretty much, uh, we go through it and it's uh, more in depth because I'm able to, you know, edit them down and have them really precise. So if you want to go check out all those, highly recommend. Uh, just click my name or just click the channel below. There's going to be links to a lot of things and you can watch uh, those play alongs and tutorials. Uh, so if we don't have any more questions on the Riptide, uh, let's go ahead and turn it over into sort of a live hangout like we usually do. But I really do like these um, sort of tailored live tutorials just because uh, it's just cool to be able to do something different. So again, if you don't have any questions on uh, any of the stuff that we learned right here, I will switch out and put the chat back up on screen and we'll be able to chat for a bit. We will be able to chat for a bit. All right, I'm going to switch over to the uh chat box let's add the chat box back in and move this spicy thing over here and we should be good casey thank you so much i appreciate that yeah i, I thought it'd be uh interesting to just kind of add that back into the mix um but i know some people are just here to hang out have a good time and that's why we're gonna do that as well we're gonna just hang out and have a good time. How are you doing? How's everybody going? Move it this way, this way, this way. We'll leave it that way. But how are you doing? How's your Friday going? Welcome to the live stream. If this is your first live stream, make sure to let us know in the chat. I would love to uh, hang out and get to know you guys a lot better. What's the hardest song you have tried? Um, I don't think it's like a, it, there's no real specific one, but one that really gave me a hard time was the uh, Billie Eilish mashup, the 15 song mashup, just because it was 15 different songs in one video played through the entire song. It was, a, I think it was like a nine minute song. Uh, it was definitely uh, very hard to get through. I think it took me almost an hour and a half of recording uh, just to get one good usable take. Um, so yeah, I think the hardest video or song that I ever done, ever did on the channel was the, I feel like my hat's crooked, was the, uh, uh, Billie Eilish 15 song mashup. Bashful, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah. So let me know again, uh, when this video does go live after this video, live stream ends, it will go onto my YouTube uh, page and it'll be as a video. You can rewatch the entire thing if you want to go back and listen to a section. Um, and then also comment on the live stream on this video when it goes live, uh, what songs you want to do for next week. And I'll pick a song that we can do together. Uh, as you look down uh, at your uke, the top string is fourth and then goes three, two, one. 
Yes. So, if, but if you're left-handed, then it's the opposite way. So I'm right. I'm right-handed. So I. That's how I play it. Um, so it would be. It would go four, three, two, one. But if you're left-handed, it's definitely. It's going to be the opposite. So, if, if anybody, actually, that's a really good question. Is anybody? Does anybody play the uke left-handed? So the opposite way. So you're probably. Are you confused when I say four, three, two, one? Go from down down uh, up to down Lucas it's your first live stream welcome to the live stream can we send some love to Lucas in the chat Lucas Rogers hello welcome to the live stream also welcome you are now officially part of the potato squad how's it going can we give some love to Lucas in the chat for their first potato squad can we give him a nice potato squad welcome I feel like this hat is crooked or maybe I'm just going crazy. Um, bonjour from France. Tony, how's it going? Do you, ha do you have an eight string uke? Uh, I do not, um, but I have a six string big ukulele, which is a guitar. <clears throat> Tony, how's it going? Bonjour from France. That's so cool. I like that. Lauren, that's awesome. It's a good song. Uh, which one? I didn't show you which. First time here, just signed on, so missed all the playing stuff, but I found you from Falling Slowly tutorial, which was great, from The Belfry. Welcome to the live stream. Can we get some love to them as well in the chat? Welcome, you're officially part of the Potato Squad. We go live here every Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, and we have just started doing live uke tutorials. This is the first one, so uh, if you do want to rewatch it when this video goes live after this live stream ends, it'll go on my main channel as a video and you can rewatch the entire thing. But welcome to the live stream as your first ever live stream and you're now officially Potato Squad member. That's awesome. Can we get, send some love in the chat for all the newbies, all, the, all those new spuds? Lavanya, you are not late. You're always on time. Welcome, Lucas. Yes, you can't be late, Lavanya. It's like an open house. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we the Potato Squad, I like to always uh, reiterate this. The Potato Squad is never late. We are always on time. Even if you miss, even if you're at the third, last 30 seconds of the live stream, you made it. So we love you. We appreciate you that you're here. <clears throat> Uh, Ricky, what are your feelings toward banjo leles? Uh, I've played one for like two seconds at Nam uh, a year ago, um, but I don't really know them too well, so I don't have any uh, feelings or opinions toward them. Uh, I learned how to play driver's license and blinding lights from your tutorials, and I can play them perfectly now. Thank you so much, Lucas. That's amazing. I love that. That makes me so happy. Oh, Lauren, uh, you driver's license, that's a great one. So yeah, if you guys want me to do any covers uh, now, you can let me know in the chat so we can start off with driver's license. I see a few people uh, commenting about that. Drink water, yes, make sure to stay hydrated. Uh, I'm drinking two of these a day, uh, which I feel like is helping a lot, just with overall health, you know what I mean? Boston, what the heck, Ricky? Oh yeah, so one of uh, our, our viewers and uh, subscribers on Instagram, and he sometimes comes on live streams, RJ, he sent me this hat because uh, he was like, I dare you to wear this hat. Uh, and now I just sometimes wear it randomly. I forget that I'm wearing, I, I don't really uh, have too much invested into uh, any kind of uh, baseball rivalry, but I just like the hat, it's comfortable. <clears throat> my fingers hurt I've been playing the uke and guitar all evening yes that will definitely uh, start happening but your fingers will start to hurt less the more you play all right so should we do uh, a song <clears throat> once you click the live stream you are automatically part of the potato family and no take backs Nyla I love that no take backs absolutely blinding lights yes we can do that as well <clears throat> 
Oh yes, I remember RJ. Yeah, so he was he he wanted to send me a hat, and I was like, all right, I'll uh, I'll take it. Um, we have to send you an SC hat. Yeah, if you guys want to send me stuff, let me know <laughs> hats. But I don't. I, I'm not saying you need to send me anything, but um, maybe we'll open a PO box or something, and you can like write letters or something. I, I don't want you guys to send me stuff. I feel bad, but if you ever want to write me letters or anything like that, or send me a picture, whatever, maybe I'll open a PO box. Um, and then maybe we'll do like live uh, unboxings on the channel as well. I tend to like more off the beaten path song, Shrug. I'm wondering if you might be familiar with the high the Highwayman from Lorena McKennett, and if you might know an okay strong pattern for it. Ooh, uh, I will have to check on that. Uh, I'll take a listen to it and I'll try to figure out a strong pattern and then next live stream we can talk about that song. Uh, but I don't know that off by heart. Um, I'm thinking of getting a banjo, but I'm liking the sound of banjo lele. I'm learning the mandolin and it's impossible for an eight string instrument, wow. You're busy. Hello from California. I just got my first suke and had no idea I'd become a potato today. Maggie, welcome to the Potato Squad. Can we send some love to Maggie in the chat? Can we officially welcome her to the Potato Squad? Welcome. Uh, you didn't think you're gonna be a potato when you woke up today, but guess what? You are the best potato because you joined these live streams and now you're part of the best uh, live stream crew on the YouTubes and as Nyla said, there are no take backsies. You are officially a potato for the rest of your life. All right, so let's do um, let's do driver's license first, and then we can go into uh, blinding lights after. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let me let me get the cords for driver's license. Can we do creep? Yeah. Uh, do you want to do creep uh, as just in a play along, or also, or we can also do it as a uh, live tutorial as well, Dre, if you would like that. Um, but I can do that one as well. So we'll do. <clears throat> we will do driver's license, then blinding lights, and then we can do creep. Uh, we'll do, should we do a finger picking pattern or a strumming pattern for a uh, driver's license? What do you guys think? Ricky doesn't want us to be jealous, guys, or distracted by his amazing hair. Uh, sometimes I would agree, but also a lot of times my hair is crazy. I'm growing it out a little bit, so uh, my hair just, just poofs everywhere. And then also I just don't like to be distracted by my own hair. <laughs> You mean Ricky has hair? Absolutely I have hair. I have a bunch of hair. All right. Uh, let me go through the comments. Don't forget the background music before you play. Ah, yes. Holly, thank you so much. I, I need to really remember to uh, do that. All right, so I just turned it off. Uh, but thankfully we weren't playing just yet. Strumming like in the play along. All right, perfect. We'll do strumming for driver's license. Come on, try. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it. Potatoes are yummy. Yes, they are. All right, in three, two, one. Got my driver's license last week Just like we always talked about You were so excited for me To finally drive up to your house But today I drove through the suburbs Crying cause you weren't around background music much just just uh, kicks where the background music is off it just licks hmm 
clicks, doggone it. Maybe we'll do a finger picking pattern, just, can you, is, can you hear the uke and me? Let's see what's going on here. Do you have a Twitch? I do. Um, it's linked in my description. Let me see what's going on with uh, the Norsh. All right, so yeah, it should be working. Bum, bum, bum. All right. You okay over there, Aaron? <laughs> All right, let me know if it sounds uh, good. It should sound fine. I'm getting this microphone fixed. Sounds fine, Ricky. All right, perfect. We'll start over. In three, two, one. Got my driver's license last week, just like we always talked about. Cause you were so excited for me to finally drive up to your house. But today I drove through the suburbs crying cause you weren't around and you're probably with that blonde girl who always made me doubt she's so much more than I chat as well if we're doing good can you hear you can find all right and i know we weren't perfect but i've never felt this way for no one no and i just can't imagine how it could be so I 
drive along past your street Whoa, yeah, you said forever Now I drive along past your street Caroline, hello, how's it going? Welcome to the live stream uh, Sorry, I was trying to go look into the chat as well To make sure <laughs> that everything, the sound was alright Again, I'm getting this mic fixed I don't know if you can see it the Blue Yeti mic, which I use in majority of my live streams, but uh, I just ordered a new one uh, because I broke it. Uh, the cable snapped, which is super exciting. All right, so we'll do uh, blinding lights next. Um, if I can find it. I'm trying to call, I'm running off the long enough. Uh, do I have the chords for it? I don't know if I do. Alright, let me check something really quickly. Alright, that's not what I wanted. One second, one second. How's everybody doing? <clears throat> How's everybody doing? Uh, let me just get the chords for blinding lights. Bum, bum. I've been trying to call, I'm on my own for long enough. <laughs> Baby, whoa. Alright, we got the chords, we got the chords. Uh, we had a lovely sunny day and famous meet. That's awesome, Caroline. Hello and welcome back. I played the entire thing. Lucas, that's awesome. Is YouTube and other social media your main job? Yes, it is. So blinding lights is uh, D, D minor. I've been trying to call. I've been trying to. I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you can show me how to. Maybe I'm going through withdrawals You don't even have to do too much You can turn me on with just one touch Baby I look around Since the city's cold and empty No one's around to judge me I just can't feel it when you're Gone, gone. I said, ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. Oh, when I'm like this, you're the one I trust. I'm running out of time. Cause I can see the sun light up the sky. So I hit the road and overdrive, baby. I look around and since the city's cold and empty No one's around to judge me I can't see clearly when you're gone, gone, gone I said, ooh, I'm blinded by the lights No, I can't sleep here till I feel your touch and I said, ooh that's very high I haven't warmed up yet but there it bland or not but yeah it's pretty easy it's just D minor D minor a minor C and G So 
the string pattern is just going to be uh, it's going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, 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 down, up. That is back. So that song is really high for me sometimes, so I have troubles with that one. Uh, that's why I don't really like to sing blinding lights that much because it's high that part I don't know I always go too high too high for that for my voice all right so let's do creep by Radiohead I know this one this is one of the only songs I know I have memorized asking for the chords it's just going to be G B7 C and then C minor so again it's just going to be G B7 it's kind of the B7 is kind of like an E minor but you just move up a string on all fingers and then C and then uh, C minor uh, 
and then that is the chords for that. Uh, and again, G, B7, C, and then C minor. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I love potatoes. I do too. Hi team, I hope you're all well. Nasia, hello, welcome to the live stream. I was I was laughing because I kind of I saw Firecrackers uh, question about question our older members called baked potatoes are as we are wrinkly <laughs> baked potatoes. I love that so much. Um, yeah, so the chords. Uh, Dre, I kind of just spoke to them. I just saw your comment right now. I'm just going through the comments right now. Uh, how do we feel about electric acoustic ukes? Ooh, uh, I don't. I just play mostly uh, acoustic, just regular, but uh, not haven't really dove into the electric portion just yet. Love is demographic potatoes. <laughs> is that my? Is my that my demographic potatoes? <clears throat> don't ignore me Ricky can we do a mini tutorial of 18 by one direction sorry I am NOT ignoring you uh, I'm playing and I can't really respond to comments while I'm playing uh, I wish I could do two at once but I can't um, but yeah we can do that in future uh, live streams uh, great job thank you so much Anushka Caroline beautiful thank you so much wait since we're potatoes eating french fries is this cannibalism that's a great question I don't know about that is it cannibalism? I don't think so, right? I don't know. Let me know. Thank you so much for playing Blinding Lights when I found your channel. You inspired me to keep playing the uke when I felt like quitting because I couldn't figure out any course. So thank you so much. Lucas, thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate that. I like how we're now discussing potatoes instead of music. Same. <laughs> you can bake a potato, you can fry a potato, you can chop, you can uh, do all good stuff to potatoes. Potatoes are amazing. Um, I got the B minor chord, now I know four. Maggie, that's amazing, congratulations. The B minor chord is a tough one, so if you get if you can get the G minor, B minor chord, you got any chords. Sorry, it was an important question from an oldie. I mean, that's a really important question, I love that. And we also got people chatting in the comments about potatoes, so that's, that's, that's my goal. I'm a new potato, but I'm old. We're never, potatoes, uh, they don't get old, they get refined and they, they're like wine, they age well. Stephanie, hello, welcome to the live stream. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Ailey, hello, yeah. Mr. The Best is so true. What is your favorite uke to play on in your collection? Uh, I actually spoke about that in my new video. So if you don't know, I uploaded a video today of doing a studio tour of this space so if you're ever curious what this room looks like if you because i feel like my youtube videos and these live streams you only really get to see uh these ukes in the couch and maybe a couple of ukes over there but this is an actual i guess studio a home studio so if you're interested to see that uh i just uploaded that this morning and it's a collab with bernadette abby lyons and tyler from 10 thumbs pro um 10 thumbs. I don't know if it's 10 thumbs pro. 10 thumbs? 10 thumbs pro. Uh, but your question of what is my favorite uke, right now uh, I'm still on a high of creating my custom uke. Link in the description. It has my initials on the 12th fret. And it's just, I think it's one of the most beautiful ukes I've ever seen. I, again, I can be biased because I designed it. So I designed it with Leolani Ukulele, which is a wine company. Uh, they're based in Hawaii and they make amazing ukes and they asked me if I wanted to do a collaboration, a signature uke with them and I said absolutely, I would love to do one. I'm refined. Yes, we're refined potatoes. The older we get, we don't get old, we just get refined. <clears throat> it's deaf cannibalism, greasy delicious cannibalism. <laughs> I love that. Uh, would buying another uke be considered wasting money because I want one for my ba uh, for my b-day But my mom said I'd be wasting my money uh, It really just depends on uh, Your financial state uh, if you're okay with buying another uke. I don't see it as wasting money, but that's just because 
I'm able to buy another Uke, but if you can't, uh, I would prioritize a uh, getting no ne life necessities over a Uke if you already have one. But if you have extra money that you want to spend and you really want to get a Uke, then I would recommend getting Uke. Uh, but again, that's up to you. Uh, how many Ukes do you have? Maggie, I have a lot. Uh, I In the studio tour, I did kind of show you a lot of my Ukes that I play. I want to say, I obviously don't play like 30 Ukes every day, but I rotate them. So a lot of the ones that are hanging, I play a lot. I also have ones around um, on Uke stands that I play a lot. And then I have a bunch, you can see right here. Uh, I'll actually show you. So a lot of these gig bags, they have Ukes in them. So it just tells you how many Ukes I have. It's too many. <clears throat> it is too many. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. If, if she still says no, I'm gonna ask my dad to buy me another one. Always great to ask both parents, right? <sighs> All right, Tyler Austin Field. Yes, Brenda, yes. Uh, I just like to call, I mean, I, I obviously I just call him Tyler, but uh, 10 thumbs. I never call people by their username or by their like YouTube name. Like Bernadette teaches music. I either call her B or Bernie or Bernadette. I don't call her Bernadette teaches music, but I know some people just consider them as the YouTubers. So yes, Tyler from 10 Thumbs Pro. Yeah, so we're all doing a collab together. We're all showing our studios, our recording studios, where we make uh, these YouTube videos. Um, and we kind of go in detail of the equipment and that kind of stuff. So mine is alive on my channel. I know Abby uploaded hers, Bernadette also uploaded hers, and Tyler, his is coming on Sunday. So you see that on his channel on Sunday. Lovely Uke, I got a, a Kilted Maple Top Lanakai and I can never stop starting, staring at it. Ooh, Lanakais are really beautiful. I love Lanakai Ukes. I have a baritone uh, that I absolutely love playing. Rocio, hello, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. The pearl on the uke makes me feel very posh, right? That was one of the things I really wanted to do. So if you're, uh, Dre is talking about the pearl and then also on the headstock, it, you can't really tell on here, but it does also kind of, it does reflect and it has uh, sort of like a pinky, oh, it's like a pearl. So it's like a pinky greenish uh, sort of reflection on here as well. Can't really tell in the live stream too much. And then again, it has around the sound hole and then the initials as well. And then also the fret markers. It's, it's very beautiful. It is very beautiful. But the link for that is in the description below. Uh, again, I think I mentioned that in the live last stream where we're not sure if we're gonna be continuing making them or if they're just gonna be a set sort of like uh, What's it called? The first edition, like limited edition type thing. Uh, I would consider it wasted money only if you never use the uke you end up buying. Yes, definitely. Do you rate Musician as a platform learning to play the uke? I have never used Musician, um, so if anybody has used it, let me know. But I, I don't, I couldn't speak to that, Julius, because I have never used it. I thought the guitar was harsher on fingers until I picked up a mandolin. I always go back to the uke though. I've never played a mandolin. Uh, I definitely would want to uh, just play it and see how, what it feels like. I got a second uke a week after my first. That was last month. Figure by summer I'll have more ukes than a pro. <laughs> Maggie, I love that. Muddy. Uh, but I play my uke every day since I got it in the mail, so technically it wouldn't. Yeah, it, just make sure you use it, you practice it, and if it brings you joy, then I don't think that's a waste of money. That's a lot of ukes. Anne-Marie, yes, I have a lot of ukes. So many ukes, too many ukes. Uh, Carolyn Bernadette teaches music and one music school. I have some good beginner strumming lessons that should help. Yes, absolutely uh, recommend both of those channels. I'm off to make a cup of tea. I'll be I'll be right back. Paige will be here waiting for you. Ukes are relatively affordable, so it's tempting to buy two to three per year. Yeah, I mean, uh, a lot. There's a lot of really affordable, like high quality ukes. Um, ones that I would recommend are Enya's, obviously. Kala does has some really affordable ones, and then it really just depends on your budget. Um, so what you consider affordable. 
are there dig are digital tuners more accurate than tuning mobile apps? Uh, Casey, that is a great question. Uh, so I have a bunch of tuners uh, here that I like. Uh, my favorite, one of my favorite ones is this Snark one. Uh, I don't even know if you can see it. Uh, I really like it because it, it rotates so you can have it like, you know, anywhere and it rotates and it's nice and it has a big uh, sort of interface. Um, I also use the Kala um, tuner app, which I find really accurate. Um, I've used a few others, but I always go back to the Kala one just because I like it. Uh, but I, I think the, the mobile apps are pretty accurate as well. <clears throat> Fave song to play on the uke uh, would probably have to be Creep. Can we like chill for 15 minutes? I'm gonna go look at this merch. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll chill for a bit. We'll see you in a, in a second, Ailey. Lots of love, Kiara, thank you so much. Uh, All right, let me go through the comments. Have to go, guys. Thank you for a great time. Anushka, thank you so much for joining. I appreciate it so much. What kind of strings that does it have? Oh, the Signature Uke, it has Aquila strings. Uh, they're absolutely amazing. One of my favorites. I think if I ever do another Signature Uke, I want to do uh, uh, a Uke with low strings. But for my first one, I thought, because I do always play uh, high G, uh, I would add a high G for this one. But I think if I ever get a chance to do a second one, I would do a low G on the next one, if I get to do it. I don't know. Um, let me go down. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Snark is one of the best makes for tuners for all string instruments. Yeah, so this one, uh, you can only um, tune a uke, but I know there's, there's different models of Snark tuners that you can uh, tune guitars, you can tune uh, bass, all that kind of stuff. But this one that I have is just specifically for uke, uh, just because I like it that way. Um, but they have different models that you can tune a lot of different instruments. I think you also tune a violin on the other one as well. I have the Snark Tuner best uke purchase ever. Yes, 100% agree. And then I also have this one, which I thought was really cool. I did mention it in my um, uh, I didn't mention it in my YouTube video today. It's a little owl. It's really cool. Would I recommend this? I think, it, I mean, it works, obviously. I think it's just a little bit overpriced. Uh, I think this was like $11, $12, which, I mean, there's a, a bunch of them that you can get for like five, $6, and they do the exact same job. Uh, but this one is just because it has like an owl on it, so it's probably more expensive, but it's just cute. So like if you have a kid, um, and they have different animals as well. Um, but yeah, this one I would probably say a little bit overpriced, but it gets the job done. So if you're thinking of something you want to add to your collection, if you have like $11, $12 to, to spend, I would recommend it. But generally, I would probably stay away from like those just because I don't know. Personally, I feel bad spending $12 on a tuner when you can get it for free in an app. You need to get a custom potato tuner. We, you can get Maggie. That would be amazing. I would love that. What an adorable tuner. I love a baby Yoda. I, I'd love a baby Yoda tuner. Ooh, that would be awesome. Why do you need to change your uke strings? I have never changed mine and they sound great. Nicole, it's just upkeep. And then also the strings eventually over time will wear out and it just, uh, it's always, it's kind of nice to just refresh your uke. Um, so I always recommend to change them at least once a year. I know some people say every three, four months, which I find a little excessive. Uh, but yeah, if you change them anywhere between half a year, six months to a year, you should be fine. And again, there's a bunch of tutorials online that you can go and watch. I know um, One Music School has a really amazing video on how to change strings on any uke. Custom potato tuner, tuner, yeah, that would be amazing. Cindy, hello, welcome to the live stream. How you been? Nicole, if you like the way they sound, why change them? Uh, have one that's never been changed and won't until one breaks. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it, if it sounds fine, I, I, you can leave them, but just sort of like the best practices, um, just to kind of keep your uke just in check, um, I'd recommend once a year. Uh, Ricky, any quick tips on maintenance? It's the first nice uke I have and I want to take good care of it. Yeah, so for, uh, so I'm guessing you're talking about this one. If you're not playing it, I would recommend to keep it in the case, in the gig bag. Um, just really, I mean, just, it is, it's a really nice suit, but also it's pretty sturdy and well-maintained. So you, you really don't have to like be scared to play it. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we also chose a kume wood because you can definitely take it around and you don't feel like if you hit it against something, you're like, oh my God, I broke it. Uh, so it definitely can take a little bit of, uh, not a beating, but just general wear. And I really like it a lot. So, um, but yeah, I, I would just, you know, if you're not using it, um, don't uh, have it in direct sunlight. I think that comes with a lot of ukes, especially with wood ukes. Uh, try to avoid like direct sunlight over a long period of time. If you're just like keeping it in your room and you have the window open and the sun goes uh, directly on it, I would say, probably don't do that um yeah just have fun and play it uh ukes are meant to be played and not to be like oh my god this is such a nice uke i can never play it that's kind of the way i think about shoes as well so i i am starting to get more invested into like sneakers and that kind of stuff i have some really nice sneakers and i wear the really nice sneakers and people are like oh my goodness why are you wearing the sneakers and i'm like because i bought them and they're sneakers <laughs> they need to be worn Thank you so much for the info guys nicole you're welcome i just changed my strings to didaria and they are so soft they are lovely to play it but the sound is very quiet and marie uh i absolutely love didario strings what kind did you get uh i love the low g which really does have an amplified sound uh i'm curious to see as to why they are very quiet <clears throat> guitar they feel awful if you don't change them the they corrode because they are metal yes i want to get food but all we have is ramen my mom said if i eat in the ramen she won't buy as much oh no uh and they're under so much tension on a guitar that they are dangerous if they snap yes definitely it's scary to change uh guitar strings because i'm scared of that but you not so much uh well my dad oh no Two weeks now trying to do normal stuff again cindy i'm so sorry to hear that uh, sending you so much love um, i'm sorry to hear that uh, we're happy you're here and um yeah i'm so sorry for your loss that's tough that is tough yeah it's been a lot, it's been very tough for a lot of people in the live streams. Uh, I know AJ also just shared some stuff as well, but we're happy you're here, Cindy. Um, and we're happy you're back and just kind of trying to get into the normal routine because I know it's definitely tough um, if you do experience a loss or any kind of difficult moments. Uh, it's tough to get back into the swing of things, but um, what I've noticed is that getting back into the swing of things will also slowly but surely kind of get you back into how just feeling normal i don't know if that makes any sense um but yeah i'm sorry to hear that sorry to hear that aj been a lot of loss for people this year yeah very true very very true um happy purim happy purim 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 i don't know how to say it uh, to lighten the spirits <laughs> and else still practicing riptide yeah if you are still practicing riptide let me know and again if you have any questions uh, please feel free to reach out to me send them in the chat leave them in the comments of these videos uh, I'm always responding to them sorry I got the low G tenor I have a concert but I wanted unwound uh, hmm interesting I wonder why it's soft because the one that I have uh, is not quiet at all. Let me see if I can get it. So this is a, this is the one that I have, the Daddario Logi. Uh, let me see if I can tune it really quickly. Uh, I need to change these strings though. 
Like, this is pretty bright and pretty loud. So this is the low G. Um, I have a low G as well on one of the Novas, which is the black one right there. Um, and I really like how it sounds. to play um, with the low G is Can't Help Falling In Love, which is a wise man say only fools rise for I can't help fall love as well this is one of my first ukes i ever had which is uh, the glossy kala tenor uke uh, the model number is k-a-t-g it's a little dusty because i haven't been playing it uh, but i absolutely love it this is like one that i probably will never give away uh, just because it's like one of the uh one of my first ukes and it's one that i really um I spent more money on because the first one I think it was like fifty dollars. It was a Kala as well, uh, but this one I spent. I want to say this is one twenty, maybe one ten. Uh, so back then for me that was a lot of money. I mean, it still is a lot of money. Um, but yeah, this is one that I probably will just keep for honestly for forever. <laughs> I just like how it sound sounds and then also what, how it looks. It's super glossy, and yeah, I love it a lot. Thank you, Anne-Marie, I appreciate it. Uke, uke strings are so cheap too. Yes, that's one of the things, um, I know Bernadette was talking about uh, this in her, in one of her latest videos, like um, changing strings, you should change them. It's just recommended, uh, just best practices. Um, but also don't feel scared about changing strings. I know some people are like, they're worried that if they break the strings, they break the strings, uh, but Uke strings, again, I think Anne-Marie just said it, they're $7 on Amazon, so I just buy a bunch. Uh, do I have? I have a bunch. I just don't know where they are. So I have like just a pack of Uke strings, um, and then I'll just kind of do, you know, three or four at a time. Ricky, I know you said you only uh, took up singing after you started playing the uke, but there's no way you weren't killing it on karaoke nights or something, right? Yeah, I never really did karaoke before, um, just because I was always like, I have, like shy to do any of that stuff, but I never really did karaoke. Um, I was more of just like basketball, that kind of stuff. I played a lot of sports. Uh, but yeah, so I never really did a bunch of karaoke. Mm, mm, mm. You're scared of, of changing the uke strings. I, I, I don't, I, I, I get it because I was scared of, of changing my uke strings when I first did it. 
but as soon as you do it, it's like ripping off a band-aid. It's done, you're over with, and then you'll feel more prepared for the next one. So if you are too scared, you think you're gonna break the uke, which I I can definitely tell you you're not gonna break the uke. Just don't rip them or do any of that crazy stuff. Just follow a really good tutorial on YouTube. Again, One Music School has an amazing uh, tutorial on how to change strings. Um, it's just awesome. Then she gives you on different types of uh, ukes as well. because Some of them are a little bit different. Um, so highly recommend to go check that video out. Buy two packs in case uh, and just use a string winder when changing strings. There's also YouTube tutorials out there. One Music School, yeah, One Music School, I feel like we all have watched that. That's an amazing video uh, to do. Caitlin, welcome to the live stream. Also, welcome to the Potato Squad. It's your first time here. Can we welcome, welcome Caitlin to the Potato Squad family? Let's send, send some love in the chat. I can't speak today. It's been a long day already. Uh, I've been editing and just, I feel like I've been speaking for 86 hours today. Um, Let's do a song. Let's do a song. Bum, bum, bum. Um, I want to do something real relaxed. Just chill. Uh, finger picking order for Can't Help Falling in Love. Yeah, I mean, you can do um, a couple ones, but the one that I just did for that one was uh, four, three, two, one two, three, so. And then you go back to four. Yep, Holly has it, yep. Uh, so it's four, three, two, one, two, three. And then you go to the next chord. So it's Y, I'll just show you on the screen. Y, man. I think my voice is kind of slowly going, I can already tell. Uh, so I probably will end the live stream at three. I know I said that I might do a little bit longer, but my voice is, I can already tell it's going, uh, it's gonna be struggling later on. Um, but let's just chill out for a bit. Let's hang out. What do you guys have? Questions, um, anything, let me know. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, down real quick. Uh, how's your day going? How's your week? What's your, what are your, what are your plans for the weekend? Let me know in the crowd. Um, is it me or is there buzz sound in the uke? It might be. I'm using a different mic. So the one that I always use, which is this one, which is awesome. I broke the cable off of it. So we're using a substitute mic, which is part of the webcam. So there might be a slight buzz. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can get that fixed. I ordered it and it hopefully should be here by next live stream and we'll have the audio on point, on point. <clears throat> Sorry, was chords G, C, G, uh, for what, for, uh, Casey, for which song? Ricky, do you warm up your voice up before your stream? Today, I did not. Uh, usually I do, uh, but today I was running late. So that's probably also why. Christy, hello, welcome. Water, yes. Drink some water, stay hydrated. You boinked it too much. Uh, Cindy, <laughs> you'd think so, but actually in one of the live streams, I think it was like two or three live streams ago, uh, I snapped the cord because I, I kind of wanted to twist it, but then the cord snapped or like it bent and then 
afterwards I try to use it and it just wouldn't work anymore. So it's like an internal thing, but this thing can take a good amount of hits to it, which again, I wouldn't remember, I wouldn't rec uh, recommend, but it can definitely, you can't do that. I'm gonna like sit on the couch and sleep. That's my weekend plans. Same. Actually, I have to film and edit and do all that stuff, but I'll try to do that as well. I'm being lazy. I'll practice ukulele soon. Running uh, Procreate YouTube classes too. That's awesome. Are there specific days you stream or is it just any time? Avery, great question. I stream uh, every Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, I'm thinking about maybe upping it a little bit, but I feel like Wednesday and Friday are perfect times and perfect days um, just because we can just hang out. Uh, at the weekend, I'll be going for walks and feeding the geese, ducks, and swans that live in the river lake near me. Caroline, that's awesome. Uh, keep that voice warm as it's beautiful. Thank you so much. Ricky, can you play Harry Styles by falling? Caitlin, I think uh, we're going to be hanging out, chilling for a bit for the rest of the live stream, but we will definitely do it on Wednesday's live stream. Uh, so make sure to come back for Wednesday. We can do like a dedicated Harry Styles One Direction day if, if, some, if that's something that you guys are interested in. Um, okay, got it. I'll tune in. Avery, thank you so much. Appreciate that. I'm also animating and drawing. That's awesome. Wednesday and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern. Streams on YouTube. Yes, Dre. Uh, you keep your voice warm with honey and lemon tea. Yeah, so I drink a lot of, I do the exact thing that exact same routine. Uh, at night, right before I go to bed, I drink some uh, tea and honey. Uh, sometimes I'll do it in the morning. If I know that I'm gonna be like either talking or recording for the entire day, cause I pretty much play the uke all throughout the day and I'm practicing and I'm also singing. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot sometimes. <clears throat> Somehow when I change strings, I end up with way less on the peg than what usually comes on them. Like five, six times, one of my ukes has a string that's only wrapped twice. Will that affect tuning? Um, I mean, so I, it looks like on average, I wrap them around three, four times, depending, but it shouldn't really, uh, unless there's not enough tension, that will affect the tuning. But if you have enough tension in it, it should be fine. Um, but I like to give my, uh, my strings enough slack at the top, at the headstock when I'm doing them, and then I'll just cut them off like a few days after. I'll keep tuning, because as soon as you put on new strings, um, they will go out of tune quicker, and they'll, you know, you just want to make sure you're tuning them a lot. And then I usually wait three, four, five days to cut the ends off, the excess string, and then it's always usually fine. I just don't cut them off immediately. That's just my thing. Uh, we'll send you pics on Insta or Facebook. Yes, definitely. I'm gonna record a couple songs to celebrate 30 days of playing you tomorrow. My brand and new, I'm brand new, but love it so much. Glad I found you and Bernadette. Thank you so much uh, from the Belfry. Would you like me to call you your by your first name or do you want to call, do you want me to call you Belfry? What would you like me to call you? Uh, I like to ask that just in case you want me to call you by your name. But congratulations on 30 days of playing the youth. That is amazing. And Bernadette is an amazing teacher. Uh, one of my closest friends on YouTube. She's amazing. Any advice on apps that can help with voice conditioning? I am not the right person to ask that. Um, if somebody has any information on that, but I do not know about that. Uh, I'm thinking they were really just longer strings. Could be. I love One Direction, how about you? Yeah, I like One Direction as well. I know a lot of people that watch this channel also really do love One Direction, so I appreciate them. Uh, but my friends got me into anime and now I'm addicted to it. So thanks, uh, Olivia, Juliana, and Anari, if they ever see this. That's awesome. Uh, I'm a sing in the shower girl, but I'd like to build the nuggets to do it and to do it while you can. 
Trey, I believe in you. Uh, for me, it's just uh, when I started singing, I just started imitating what I was hearing. Uh, I've never taken any singing like lessons. Um, that's something I really want to start investing more in. It's just getting my voice health uh, to the best it can. And then also maybe eventually I'll take singing classes, but I've never taken a singing class in my life. Um, I remember when I was younger, like we had music class and we would sometimes do warm ups, but I was like super young. But in my adult life uh, and now I don't take singing classes, but I feel like I probably should eventually. It'd probably be beneficial. Christy, thank you so much. Uh, that's great advice. I don't cut them right away. I usually cut them once it whole tune. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I don't know if maybe Aaron could also speak to it, but just for me, I just feel like uh, they're still adjusting uh, over the first few days. So I just like to not cut them. And then as soon as I feel like they're good to go, then I cut them off. I'm Allison, but call me whatever. Thanks for pro uh, providing this fun space. Allison, I'll call you Allison. Uh, thank you so much and I'm excited and if you do have Instagram or anything and you do feel like uh, you want to post it to Instagram or any of the social medias, make sure to tag me. Uh, I'm always resharing, reposting and if you don't feel comfortable with posting to everybody just yet and you want me to either see you play, watch you play, hear you play, um, you have any uh, questions about anything, you can always send me a DM and I will try to get to them. Uh, I'm trying to get through all my DMs. So if you send me a DM from the last live stream or this live stream um, on Instagram, I'm going through them. <laughs> They're just a bunch. Courtney, welcome to the live stream. Hello, hello, hello. I like Bernadette too. She's fun. Yeah, she's amazing. What is the art on your studio wall? Oh, uh, it is, uh, I believe it's, tango dancing it's uh my mom she bought it and she was like i feel like this could be nice in your studio and i was like thank you <laughs> thank you for that uh yeah so it's just something that i thought was kind of cool and it kind of just adds a little bit something that's just not i guess it still is music related because dancing music uh but it's just a really cool painting I sing to my dog, uh, she seems to like it. I love that. You sound great, deaf and natural gift. Thank you so much, Allison. Skillshare has singing courses. Yeah, that's actually one of the um, platforms I was looking into. Skillshare has a lot of courses and they're really amazing. So I think I might try and try that out, Christy. And if I do, maybe I'll do a video on like what I think about Skillshare singing uh, courses. My friend joined a choir instead of lessons. That's a great way too. Rickster, hello, how's it going? Airbro, how's it going? Airbro 808, the Rickster. I come from a singing background. Uke is my first instrument and vocal stuff totally has helped my uke journey. I bet it'll be the same for you going from uke to voice. I hope so. I really wanna get better at like, my main thing is like maintaining uh, good vocal health and then also um, vocal breathing. I feel like it, it'll help with being able to produce better sound. Um, so that's kind of what I want to get out of it. Um, your mom has cool taste. Yeah, she's awesome. And she's, uh, she's, she likes to paint as well. So there's actually some art pieces that she painted. Uh, they're not in my studio, but I have a bunch of big art that maybe I was eventually going to put it above my couch, but then I decided to do the ukes instead because I was like, that's that. I mean, that's a cool background, but maybe I'll put it up and I'll show you guys. Boo, boo, boo. I really want to play the uke. What type should I get? Um, I would recommend getting a concert size um, just because you can sort of grow into it. Uh, a lot of people tend to just get the soprano size, um, but then eventually they want to uh, sort of get a bigger, uh, like, you know, upgrade to a bigger size. So my thinking is like, why not just get the bigger size, the concert size, so that way you don't have to buy another one if you don't want to. Am I on Clubhouse? Yes, I am on Clubhouse. It's just uh, my name, Ricky Songborn. 
Uh, I've been using it and it's awesome. I really like it. If you, do, if you guys aren't on Clubhouse or if you are on Clubhouse, search my name just at Ricky Somborn. Um, I'm always in rooms. Uh, I do a lot of speaking things as well. So if you wanna hang out and chat, if you have any questions on stuff like that, let me know. I've actually met a bunch of subscribers on Clubhouse. So I've, I did a speaking thing um, a few days ago and one of the moderators was one of the viewers, um, so, which is crazy. A moderator's in the Clubhouse, not on these live streams. They were like actually moderating the room and I joined as a speaker and they're like, wait a minute, wait, whoa, I, I recognize that voice. Um, Cindy, I don't understand why you wouldn't cut them right away. Uh, for the strings? Manuel, hello, how's it going? I recently got back into drawing. Caroline, that's awesome. I started drawing during the pandemic because I wanted something different. Um, but yeah, uh, drawing is really awesome. I'm not a good drawer at all, but um, I, yeah, I like to draw. Laura, hello, how's it going? There's some really good ones. There's just one who is annoying, but he is really good. For which one? Aaron, uh, we are just living on the edge. Hello, hello everybody. Uh, I got a concert, got a tenor a week later and I like to feel better. Yeah, so it really depends. Uh, so this is a, a tenor size and then the ones that I usually play, my signature one is a concert size just because I feel like, um, what's it called? Um, what's it called? What was I saying? So the tenor size, for me, uh, cause I was like, oh, I'm a bigger guy. I should probably get a tenor size, but I've noticed that I lean toward a concert size just cause I like the size, but I also do appreciate tenor sizes as well. Ailey, yes, we accept everybody here. Everybody is a Potato Squad member and they are all welcome. This is a safe space for everyone, uh, new and old, young and just refined. Uh, yeah, no, everybody's welcome here. Ricky, can you help me play bar chords? I use, uh, use so much tutorials, but still can't. Uh, we can definitely go over that in a video. Maybe we can do a live youth tutorial for a bar chords. Um, but it just really depends. Like one of the biggest things I would recommend is keeping your thumb uh, on the back of the uke so that way you can add more pressure and just putting pressure down. <laughs> But again, it's just all about practice. So again, just keeping your thumb back here so that way you can clamp down. So you're clamping down and then you're gonna add more pressure. Everybody is welcome in the potato squad. Yes, absolutely. Everybody is welcome. This is a safe space for anybody and everyone. That's why I made this. I created these live streams because that's just how I feel. Everybody is welcome. And yes, don't forget to hit that like button. Can we get to 100 likes before the live stream ends? All right, uh, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'm gonna go and just relax my voice for a bit. Uh, we are all potatoes here, absolutely. Um, yeah, we go live every Wednesday and Friday at 1 p.m. Uh, and Fridays we will add sort of a tutorial style. I, I really like that. Just adding, learning something for Fridays I think is really cool. Um, and I will figure out the next song for next Friday. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I appreciate it. And welcome to all the new Potato Squad members. Uh, again, make sure to uh, hit the bell notification and the subscribe button uh, so that you get notified when I go live and you don't miss a live stream. Caitlin, thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited for you guys to be here and I'm excited to do these live streams. We've been doing them now for five, almost six months. No, it can't be almost six months. Five months, four months, something like that. It's been a while. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Thanks, Ricky. Have a great weekend. Catherine, thank you so much. I appreciate that. 
great stream as always, Utah. Thank you so much. Cindy, thank you so much for the sticker. I'll be back. We love you, Cindy. And again, we are so sorry for your loss, but we are here for you. And again, if you need anything, send me a message on Instagram, email, whatever. Uh, I'm always just here to listen as well. If you need somebody to talk to, send me a DM. Uh, don't feel like you are going through this alone. Um, we love you, we appreciate you. Everybody stay safe, absolutely. Thank you for the super chat, Cindy. Yes, yes, yes. Have a good weekend, Paige. Thank you so much. Thank you for another fab live, everyone. Holly, thank you so much. Um, Ricky, check ID, IG. I will, I will do that after this live stream. I'll go on Instagrams. Okay, all right, uh, I'm going to go. Potato Squad for life. Don't forget that. Yeah, there's no take vaccines, as Nyla said. Thanks, Ricky. See you soon, Paige. Thank you so much. Hashtag Potato Squad. Absolutely. All right, everybody. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next live stream. And also, don't forget to check out the new video today, which is my uh, studio tour. Uh, actually, right now, before you, uh, at, right after you leave this live stream, go and uh, watch that video and comment. Um, came from live stream or something. What should, what should the secret comment be? Uh, so that before we leave, let's make that up. So that way you just comment on that video so we can help with the engagement so that we can boost it up a little bit more. Um, Ricky, keep up the good work looking very dashing. Thank you so much, Dre, I appreciate that. But yeah, I would really appreciate it if you could go check out the new video. I would absolutely love it. I put a lot of effort into it uh, and I think it's funny. I th I, if I think it's funny, I, I think I did a good job. Uh, so make sure to go and watch that video. It's my newest video on my YouTube channel and leave a comment, please. I would love it and make sure to like the video. Uh, I really love how it turned out. So very excited. Uh, actually what I'll do is I'll leave a link to it in the chat so you guys can just click it and watch it. Look at that, I'm giving you guys the easiest way to watch a video. <laughs> I just love how it turned out. Uh, I just love, I, I love the editing on it that I did. And it took me a while, so, you know, an easy plug. All right, I'm about to put it into the chat. Where are you? <laughs> I'll just go uh, comment up awesome your hair. So that is the link for, uh, for the video, I would love it if you go watch it. Click on that link that I just posted. Uh, you guys can leave the live stream now, but make sure you go check out the new video. The intro alone is worth it. Thank you so much. Yeah, I love that intro a lot. I'll just go comment how awesome your hair is. Yes, yes, yes. Later taters, look for the hands in that video, 100%. Uh, and if you don't know what they're talking about, what Aaron's talking about, it's these little hands. So. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Again, click that link that I just posted in the chat so you can go watch the new video and leave a comment, leave a like, and I love you forever. Thank you so much to the moderators. Yes, absolutely, Dre. Uh, chat mods, you are all cool. They are amazing. All right, everybody. I'll see you in the next live stream. Again, go click the link to the newest video, like, comment, 